Wes Anderson is taking over the internet. He is a filmmaker known for his unique filmmaking style. His new movie Asteroid City recently came out and I really want to recreate the look or the color grade of that movie. So let's open a premiere and see what we can do. Here you can see a shot of Jordi. He really wanted to be the model in this video. I know, I know, Jordi likes to dress up as a girl sometimes. Hey, that's not true, that's not true. I, I had to wear these clothes, okay, because we need colors. I don't like to dress up like a girl. All right, it's true. Jordi is wearing these colorful clothes because we need them to match with the colors inside our movie. The more colors you can match, the more accurate the grade will be. So here you can see the clip of Jordi and a piece of the trailer from Asteroid City. But it actually doesn't matter which movie you use. The techniques you're about to learn can be applied to any movie. To match the colors of each video, it would be useful to see both clips at the same time. To do that, go to the program monitor and click the button editor. Here you can find lots of icons which you can drag on the bottom. Find the comparison view button and drag it next to the others. Then enable it and there you go. On the left side you'll see the reference view. You can use this little timeline to select a frame you want to use to match your video with. Then in the timeline find a frame of your clip. And now you can see them both at the same time. You can use these toggles at the bottom to change the overlay of the videos. <laughs> Shorty trying to get rid of a spring cane. <laughs> Mantis, yes. <laughs> now to start color grading, go to the window menu on top and open up Lumetri Color. Once it's open, go back to the window menu and open up Lumetri Scopes. You'll understand why in a second. So my workspace is a little mess right now. So what I like to do oh, is to. I go on it. So what I like to do is to drag the Lumetri scopes and drop them next to my timeline. Because we don't really need the timeline anymore so we can use that space for the scopes. That's a lot better. Next, right click the scopes and make sure the vector scope and the waveform are both enabled. Also set the waveform type to Luma. First we're gonna match the exposure. To do that, open up the basic correction tab in Lumetri. With these controls we're gonna adjust the exposure. The first one will control the overall exposure. If you drag it up, you will see the video get brighter. Also the right side of the Luma scope will change. On top you can read the whites and the highlights. They are the brighter tones like the sky and other bright parts. At the bottom you'll see the blacks and the shadows, like the barrels and Jordy's hair. In the middle you'll find the midtones. Now all these controls can be adjusted with the highlights, shadows, whites and blacks. The contrast slider controls the amount of space between the blacks and whites. In Asteroid City the color grade looks a little more flat and by decreasing this you can recreate the same effect. Now adjust all the light sliders until both lumoscopes match as close as possible. Step 2 is matching the white belt. Balance. This time we're going to use the vector scope to read them. Here you can see a waveform. Now the direction it's pointing in represents which color it is. The longer this waveform is, the more saturated it is. Now we only want to see a white part of the video to match the white balance. So we can see it on the scope because all the colors are visible. There is a little workaround though. Go to the timeline and select a movie clip. Then go to the effect controls and find the opacity effect. Click the pen tool and go to the program monitor. Of course disable comparison view because otherwise you can't create a mask. Draw a shape around a white object from the movie, such as this house. Do the same thing in your own video, for example the barrel. Now the vector scope looks a little different. We can see two lines. This one is the Wes Anderson movie and the other tiny one is your video. Try to match these lines by adjusting the temperature and the tint. Then adjust the saturation until both lines have the same length. And that's great. Dima, 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 I found these really great film grain overlays effects on Storyblocks, guys. Alright, why don't you tell them about it? Alright, I will. Alright, so with Storyblocks you can not only download film grain overlays, you can basically finds anything from specific stock videos, green screen videos, Premiere Pro and After Effects templates, all in HD and 4K resolution. Oh, and they're also sponsoring this video, by the way. Browse through a million high quality royalty free stock assets and all of that from right inside Premiere Pro. Now with the Storyblocks plugin, there is no need to leave Premiere anymore. Simply find whenever you need and click the download button. Then it will appear right inside your project window, ready for you to use. On other stock websites, you need to pay an expensive price for downloads, but with Storyblocks you will get everything for one set price that you can pay monthly or annually. You can use anything in your social media videos and enable monetization. There's no need to worry about copyright or licensing issues. As a long time user of Storyblocks myself, I'm also very proud to have my own landing page. My own footage from travel videos, car crashes and other projects are actually there for you to download, so definitely check that out guys. And they're all shot in lock color profile. That means you got the full control about the color grade. 
trading. So maybe you can use this tutorial on one of our shots. Guys, I can truly recommend it to any creative, so that's probably you. Take back your own creative control now with Storyblocks Unlimited Royalty Free Stock Library and Tools today by going to storyblocks.com forward slash Premier Basics or just simply click the first link in the description down below. Timon, get back! I have no idea what to say next. The camera's rolling, and I'm kind of blushing now because I don't know what to say. Timon, come right. on to- Ah, uh, finally, right. you're back. Okay, back. okay, come on. <laughs> Sorry guys. All right, now it's time to match the individual colors. Oh, the individual colors, you say? Well, the Lumetri color curves are perfect for that. That's right, Jordy. They are pretty useful, but... But? Okay, I hear but. I'm gone. But as soon as you make the big adjustments, these digital artifacts will appear, and that's... That's ugly. So instead, we're gonna use the HSL tab. But before we do that, we need to create a new Lumetri effect. First, open up the drop down menu and choose Rename. Then call it White Balance. Open up the menu again and click Create New Lumetri. We're gonna start by matching the skin tones, so you can rename this Lumetri as well. If you look in the effect controls, you can now see two Lumetri effects here. Now go back to Lumetri and expand the HSL secondary tab. With these controls, we can select a color in the video. To do that, click the color picker, and since we're matching the skin tones, click somewhere on the skin. Now adjust the hue, saturation, and lightness sliders to make your selection more accurate. If you want, you can even enable the mask. That will make it easier for you to see. If your selection looks a little grainy, use the denoise and blur slider to make the selection smoother. Now, everything you change below this will be applied to your selection. So, to match the skin tones, we're gonna look at the scopes again. As you can see, all the colors are visible, so it will be hard to match them. To make sure you can see the skin tones in the vector scope, head over to the effect controls and go to opacity. Then click the pen tool and in the program monitor, draw a mask somewhere on the skin. Do the same thing for the skin of the movie. Now the information in the vector scope will be isolated. Back to Lumetri. <laughs> In the color wheel, you can adjust the tint inside your selection. Again, try to match the waves in the vector scope just like we did with the white balance. You can also match the exposure a little bit by adjusting the exposure slider. Or you can also click the triple color wheel button. That's what the teleprompter says. <laughs> Alright, that way you can adjust the shadows, the midtones, and highlights separately. Just saying. Yeah, I was about to- Oh, that's here, that's here, <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir. If all you need is a little warmth in your selection, you can also use the temperature slider as well. Same thing for the tint. If needed, you can also play with the contrast, sharpness, and saturation of your selection. Now the skin tones look amazing, but we still need to match the sky, the grass, the green bushes, everything. And to do that, create a new Lumetri color and go back to the HSL. Then follow the exact same steps like we did with the skin tones, and then your color match will look like this. But that's it for today. No, wait, 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 I still gotta share one tip, guys. I actually got an amazing tip. So so remember that overlay film grain effect that I talked about before? So you can actually put that on top of your video and then go to the opacity blending modes and change that to something like screen. To further tweak that blending, you can work with the contrast and everything to really get the grain in there the way you want to. Because maybe you don't know, but Asteroid City was shot on film and that way you can kind of emulate that same look. And if your video still looks a little bit too contrasty, you can always add a little bit of faded film in there. Not too much, just a little bit. And that was my extra tip. Now you can end the video. Team on. The metric color and scopes can be very heavy for your computer, which in turn slows down your workflow. Check out the video here on my left where you can learn how to turn your potato PC into a 4K editing beast. Thank you so much for watching and as always, stay creative! Stay creative.